Hi, this is Space Daily News Channel and my name is Julia. For the first time, NASA scientists have seen direct evidence of active volcanism on Venus. Astronomers made the discovery after studying archived radar images of Venus, taken more than 30 years ago, in the 1990s, by NASA's Magellan spacecraft. The images revealed a volcanic vent that had changed shape and greatly increased in size in less than a year. Scientists are studying active volcanoes to understand how the planet's internal environment can shape its crust, determine its evolution and influence its habitability. One of NASA's new planned missions to Venus will do just that – study volcanic activity on Venus. The Veritas spacecraft will be launched within the next decade under the direction of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. The orbital will study Venus from surface to core to understand how a rocket planet about the size of Earth took a very different path, transforming into a world covered with volcanic plains and deformed topography hidden under a thick, hot, toxic atmosphere. The geological changes that scientists have discovered have occurred in Atla Regio, a vast high-altitude region near Venus equator that is home to two of the planet's largest volcanoes, Oza and Maat. This region has long been considered volcanically active, but scientists have not yet found direct evidence of this activity. Studying radar images from the Magellan, astronomers noticed a volcanic vent associated with Maat volcano, which changes significantly between February and October 1991. In the February image, the vent looked nearly circular, covering less than one square mile. It had steep inner sides and signs of flowing lava on the outer slopes, factors that hint at activity. Eight months later, radar images showed the same went doubling in size and irregular shape. Moreover, it appeared to be filled to the brim with a lava lake. Together with scientists from the Veritas project and specialists in radar data analysis, the researchers created computer models of the vent in different conditions to test different scenarios of geological events. And based on these models, the scientists concluded that only an eruption could have caused the changes that Magellan recorded. Scientists are comparing the size of the lava flow generated by mild moon's activity to the 2018 Scalua eruption in Hawaii. Scientists now look forward to seeing how a set of advanced scientific instruments will complement the Magellan radar imagery that changed humanity's view of Venus. The Veritas spacecraft is due to be launched in December 2027. It will use state-of-the-art synthetic aperture radar to create three-dimensional global maps of Venus and a near infrared spectrometer to figure out what makes up the surface of this planet. The spacecraft will also measure the planet's gravitational field to determine its internal structure. Together, these instruments will provide insight into past and present geological processes on the planet. All of these studies will be complemented by data from the Envision spacecraft, which will be launched by European Space Agency to Venus in the early 2030s. This orbiter will carry its own synthetic aperture radar, which has been developed at Jet Propulsion Laboratory, as well as its spectrometer. Together, these two missions will help scientists understand the relationship between geological activity and Venus' atmosphere to figure out why Venus and Earth have taken such different evolutionary paths. Space Daily News, like, share and subscribe.